morning Leo this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your weekly reading for September 18th through the 24th this is intended to be a love reading we will see what comes up I have pre shuffled these three decks three times with the bridge for you before I turned on the camera now we're just going to shuffle a little bit more Okay, now this may or may not resonate because it's for hundreds of thousands of people. So if it does, great. If it doesn't, so be it. Um, you are in this reading right off the bat. You're here and here. So you are prominent here in this reading. You haven't, you're having some fears, though. I think you're scared of something going on behind the scenes. You must be feeling like something is going on behind the scenes, you know, and it's really affecting you. It may be causing you to resist giving yourself to somebody because you're resisting you're resisting because of fear all right and it's affecting your wishes being fulfilled um because of your you're resisting okay um i do see that there's love here because this is the ace of cups this comes in when there's a welling of emotion that is true okay it's a true welling of feelings of love for somebody either for you or from somebody to you somebody might be seeing you as very beautiful inside and out i think that you must be very nurturing caring loving kind creative this week this is also the sign of rebirth and it's right next to you so maybe you start to bring some of your strength back your inner strength some of your wisdom some of your you know stuff that's been hidden for a while maybe you start to bring back some of your self-confidence and your self-worth and um you know, let your guard down. We have the seven, this is the eight of wands. Um, I thought it was the seven, my apologies. But anyway, it doesn't matter because it's about, this is a very fast moving energy. So you are changing. So over here you're resisting and you have fear and then very quickly it turns. It does. You, you have this resistance, you have this fear, then you have peace because of love you start to feel really good about yourself it's like a rebirth it is and because things just change very quickly so at the start of the week you're fe feeling fearful by the end of the week you're feeling good all right so that's great that's awesome you may have a, a scorpio pisces cancer in your life a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is probably you, but it could be another Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius because we do have Leo here. So you could have any of those signs. You do have a deep connection with somebody, and that's probably whoever is offering you this love that's standing by your side through any hard times, any fear that you have. You know, it really turns you right around because I see like a complete turnaround, all right? You start to focus your energy and your thoughts in a more positive direction. You focus positive instead of negative. You focus on the good stuff instead of the fear of the unknown. So I see that it is. It's a rebirth. It's a renewal. All of a sudden, you, you go from feeling depressed and down and woe is me and I, I just don't know to feeling, you know what? I feel good. This is great. I'm happy. All right, so that's that's what it looks like. I'm gonna get my next deck. I think things are happening for you. I think that um, stuff thinks something that you've been waiting for regarding regarding love. I think your ships are in sight. You know that le that could lead to the ultimate happiness. Okay, I see that you're very nurturing. Um, and this person sees you as nurturing. This person probably sees you as uh, very motherly, very kind, okay? Um, there's a deep connection between you and another. I do see you feeling like, I mean, here we have this being on thin ice, this five of pentacles. This is a feeling. This is financially. Feeling like you're just barely making it. 
okay? It's insecurity, but it's unnecessary insecurity because things look very stable with that Queen of Pentacles right in the middle. That's the basis of the reading. So you are feeling very stable and secure at this time. I think you're probably feeling loved. You're feeling happy. You have a few moments of fear, but I don't think they're huge. I think they, they come and they go just like that. Because I think that you're just cherished. Somebody, I think somebody cherishes you. Okay, and now this could be a, a father figure if it's not a lover. You know, it could be a, it could be somebody in the family, or it could be even be a mother or somebody. But I see that you're very cherished. Okay, the moon again, right over the moon. Okay, you are very scared of the unknown. You are, and it is affecting you. You're, this is fear of the unknown. All right? And it's in caution. Caution. You have your guard up. Eight of Wands. But it changes quickly. Same card. It does change quickly. Ace of Wands. <laughs> I knew it did. We're going to keep going. I try not to talk. The Empress again. You are so beautiful. I'm telling you what. With, with the strength card and the empress twice, your be you are so vibrant this week. Your beauty is shining. Now we have a couple, and this is a couple. This person that, whenever I talk about another person in this reading, somebody is coming to your mind, okay? Whoever that person is could be a soul partner. They are a couple, and they are a couple. That, you know, is signifying that this could be a soul relationship, okay? whoever this is that comes to your mind, all right? Um, this right here is somebody in authority. Again, it's a father figure. Now, we have soul relationships with our family as well. It doesn't always have to be sexual. So anyway, I'm just saying, because um, this is for hundreds and thousands of people. So there is, I mean, if you don't have a partner, somebody thinks that you are beautiful. So just, you, they do. Inside and out, you are vibrating very high. You are. Okay? This is a new partner, a new sexual partner, okay? Or a resurgence of a partnership where things get all fiery again, okay? After it was insecure, perhaps. All right? We have the Queen of Swords. This is clarity. All right, the Queen of Swords brings honest, the honest truth. This person, if you feel like this person, this soulmate down here hasn't been telling you the truth, I think, I don't think that's the case. I think they have been telling you the truth. So if you've been questioning that, and it's been a power struggle, and it's been a conflict, and there's been issues over it, it's pro this person is probably telling you the truth. And your fear is re causing you to resist happiness because this is the resistance and this is the fear and this is the fear. And it's affecting your wishes being fulfilled because you're resisting it. But I see that the excitement is about to be renewed, okay? Any, I think it is. I think if there was, if there was uh, like trouble in the relationship, there was insecurity, I think that that is going to be renewed this week. There's, there's not going to, it's going to be a new welling of love and excitement and passion. It is. It is. And now you have three aces, one, 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 instant manifestation. Your thoughts become things. Now, these, this is the future because this is the after tarot. This could be anywhere from a week out to three months out to a year out. You know, it all depends on you, but this is the after tarot. This right here, the ace of cups, this is love, happiness, the truth. Okay, this is a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but it's a very practical love. It's very grounded, loyal. All right, your wishes become fulfilled. It's right over you. Okay, 
and you, it could lead to a commitment in marriage. This is beautiful, and it can be any sign because we have all aspects in our chart. The fact of the matter is, is that in the future, it could lead to marriage and, and happiness and commitment and contentment and harmony. So that's the future at the end, this last step. Looks like a wonderful week where you start out fearful and it changes re real quick. That's what I have. Talk to you later, Leo. Thanks for watching. If you like, hit subscribe. If you want the notifications, hit the bell. If you don't want the notifications but you want to subscribe, just hit the subscribe. Talk to you later.